all right what is going on everyone and welcome back to more black desert my name is john and today we are at it again we are about to enhance a black star once again i just had the urge to light silver on fire to be honest and um yeah i thought i'd figured if i'm gonna do this i might as well make a video and try to make it educational for you guys especially if you're new don't know how to enhance black stars um i'll try to step by step guide you through my thought process so anyway we're starting at plus zero here it is and i guess enhancing black stars is a little bit different from enhancing your standard boss gear because it's always one step higher and i'll explain how i go about doing everything so plus zero to plus seven is basically free uh guaranteed so we start there the way i look at a lot of these up until for from plus eight all the way to um i guess plus 15 is one way so for example we never force it right now but the math i use behind this is on average if you were to force it it would take you two concentrated stones which are these and 20 durability so basically one uh i think one click so well actually it's 10 um 10 durability from zero to 15 and then pride and up is 20. So in theory, our goal is to get it in under two clicks and there is more math between which stacks to use and uh, how much does that stack cost you to make versus the extra thing. So if we were to calculate 10 or 20 durability to force, that's about 60 mil in uh, mem frags. So in theory, you want to try to get this in under uh 20 or 60 million so anyway from zero or seven to eight honestly just on like a two stack is probably good enough uh love failing 90 percent. what a fun game but plus eight is 30 durability so basically three clicks right so if our stack is under like 33%, it's one in three, basically. That's how you look at it. So if I use a 10 stack, it is actually pretty cheaper to do that than you would to force it. And it's a 44, which is higher than 33. So three clicks, basically right now we're hitting averages and whether you that's good or not, it's, I would rather always strive to be uh, average enhancing versus lighting silver on fire like that. So this one, five clicks or 40 durability. I look at the durability more than the uh, black stones because um, 10 durability is worth a lot more. So in theory, four clicks. I think we start with a 20 stack from nine and up. I tend to overstack on black stars just because it is kind of a pain. And so, two clicks, pretty good. And a lot of these stacks you guys can get as well just by doing bosses. But if you're trying to build stacks yourselves, what I would do is use the thing and just click them. Um, 30 is a little bit sketch, but I've seen people do it. And usually I'd go up to like 25 and then build from there with Reblath. So, 10 to 11 is five clicks so in theory our stack we want to use is uh over 20 percent so as long as this number and then we hit average it's good okay so 11 to 15 is where things get tricky and math kind of goes out the window because the number they use it's it's a little bit different so in theory, you want to be over 15 or 16% uh, because this would be like a one in six in theory, basically. And so what I want to do is use roughly like 20 to between 20 to 30, I guess, depends on how many fail stacks you have. And for me, I kind of overstack. But if you're someone who's just trying to literally profit only, I believe it like. 
15 to 20 is probably a good thing. So here it's uh, one in four basically versus a one in six to force. That's not good. That's like a four. But the way I do things, even if I go like negative, I'm just trying to build on averages. Sometimes it works. Sometimes you just lose silver. It is what it is. That was, I think, like six clicks total. So very average. Well, actually, we lost the stacks. So we lost money, but it's fine. It's not the worst thing I could do. So, in theory, we want this as a 7-click. So, let me see. What would a 12 to 15? I just kind of start using higher-up stacks. So, let's see. 12, I use a 40. That's 20%. So, in 1 in 5 versus 7-clicks, um, which is like 13%, I believe. Something around there. So... Roughly, like, 35 to 40 is a good start point. One tap. We made up for that last one. Good. All right. So, 80 durability. So, eight clicks. Um, 13 to 15, it's a little bit odd, and you kind of want to use overstacking, or at least not, like, you don't start at 20 for a plus 13 is what I'm saying. If you have a lot of extra advice of Valks, I would probably still not really use it on here. You'd save it to your, like, tries and up when you're using 60s. So, let's see. 15%, um, 1 in 6. 1 in 6 versus an 8 force. Nice. So, 14 to 15 is probably arguably the hardest one to do. And in my experience, a lot of people have asked me, is it better to force it versus uh, making it yourself for, from 14 to 15 in very particular? Um, I think the math that I did, keep in mind this is months ago, it breaks even in terms of... So if we look at a plus 15, it's 1.7 billion according to the sheet or the tooltip, right? And in theory, it would cost you like 700 mil, so... 36 of these is 100 durability, is 300 mil in um, memory fragments, and 36 of these is like 3 mil each, maybe less, so... Technically, right now, because Blackstones are at an all-time low, it would cost you about 1 point or... No, 430 mil to force it. Versus, like, making it yourself is... It could be worse, to be honest. But, for the sake of entertainment, we're going to try to click it in under 10 clicks. But as of right now, for the math we just did, it would cost you 430 to 500 to uh, force. And then, making it yourself, in theory, let's try to see if we can do it in under 500. Um... I think a 60 stack is appropriate. You could use 50, and 1 in 12 is probably... 1 in 12 is, uh, or... Kind of odd, but anyway. We're doing different numbers. We enhance differently, but... 1 in 6, and we did good. Okay. 1, 2, 3... Four, five, six. It's not looking good, boys. The 60 stack is actually worth, uh, I would say, a pretty decent amount. Seven. Eight. I'm going to save that stack, to be honest. I'm going to start over. Start with 50. Lock that up again. Trust me, we're going to... If you build, like, a 70, 
You're going to need it later. Just trust me on that one. I've enhanced enough black stars to be able to tell you that. Holy dude. Sometimes I think it might be better to force. Going from try to tet is actual pain sometimes. gonna get it out of the storage let's get 102 of them start again at 50 uh, you know it didn't really feel too good but it is what it is. So now everything costs 20 durability. And that makes everything a lot more expensive. So basically one click is uh, 60 mil plus this one. And to make this is basically a sharp and hard and massive pure magic. Uh, I don't have any value in Mass Appear Magics because you can't buy them. So it's just whatever number you think it is. Um, but yeah, roughly about 64 milliclick. Give you an idea. All right. Thank God we one tapped it. So from pry to pen, the amount I use is basically... If you look at regular boss gear, like yellow tier gear, going from pry to duo is like going from try or duo to try on regular boss gear. So it's basically one tier up for Black Star. And I enhanced a little bit differently. So pry to duo, I would normally start at a 30 or roughly around a 30, right? And then we'll see how it goes. So now. Duo to try is basically try to tet in regular terms. So what I do is I use like a 60 and up. So basically, remember how we built these 70s? Yeah, we use that. And then you go from there. And then try to tet is basically tet to pen. So mine is a little bit different. We're starting at a 115 stack. And... I would honestly, in most cases, the math comes out to around, you should be starting at like a 150 stack going up to like maybe a 210. And that's how the math works, at least how much the Black Stars are worth on NA, which is basically about 15 to 16 billion. So, yeah. Um, in theory, you should start with a... Uh, 150 but the highest i have well highest usable in my case is a 100 and i have a lot of 245s and everything like bigger stacks but i'm not using that for that so anyway it would be nice to one tap it for demonstration but let's see six percent usually my average is I think I hit things usually around 180. Yeah. Sounds about right. It would have been really nice to have just one tapped it, to be honest. All right, let's go again. We repeat the process until it goes. Uh, Pride the duo, you start at 30. 44%. Decent. It actually feels so bad when you fail Pry on there, but like everything else is fine. 6.63. Holy, we two tapped it. That's pretty good, actually. I'm not going to lie. This entire enhancing session, 0 to 10 in 15 minutes 
was very lucky. My average for Tet is, I'll be honest, like I hit things on like 180, 180 to 200. So take that as you will. I think this was a very lucky uh, enhanced session. 14 to 15 didn't go great, but everything else um, is fine. So now what's the plan? So as you guys know, if you've watched my other videos, uh, you know my goal is to eventually go for a Pendebereka necklace. And what I've been doing is saving uh, saving Debos, and we're going to be doing one big enhancing session at some point. I think what I want to do is... Let me think about this, because right now my highest stack is a 245, and... We either do raw pen attempts, which is not really a good idea for 99% of people, and myself included. Um, when should you start doing pen attempts on Black Stars? Uh, you probably, like, I don't know. It's You'd have to ask Biohack on that one, because I just don't know the number from when it's worth it. But overall, I hope you learned something, and whether I either sell this or just do a raw pen attempt and just build the stack up to like a 300. I don't know. Uh, what also factors in is ever since the new Ulakita region came out, you could buy these and these bring your fail stack up to a 300. <clears throat> and so like clicking raw pen black stars is probably not the play. I'll be honest with you. So it's like grind these get four of them, turn it into an origin, use these origins to build your stack up to a 300, and it actually just might be cheaper. I'm going to be straight up. I don't know how much it gives. I'm going to have to look up something, but this is a new item they added into the game. It's kind of like the event ones, but I don't exactly know the numbers. I'm going to have to watch it later. So anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching. Have a fantastic day, and and now that we have some extra stuff, I guess we will save it for our next enhancing session. So that's all. Peace.